Ladies and gentlemen, La <laughs> live from Kona, Hawaii. It's Tyler Hobo. Tie-dye Hobo, uh, we're here in beautiful Hawaii where the sun's always shining and it's always beautiful. So today is uh, March something, it's springtime, man. I just got done hibernating all winter, you know what I mean? No, I'm just kidding. Um, so today we're going to do something really cool. Oh yeah, I'm over here in Big Island, Hawaii. If you ever come back or come to the Big Island of Hawaii, come on over and check out Tie-dye Hobo. Which is cool. I'm here in my shop right now. Okay, so I, mean, I want to thank the good Lord. Thanks, Jesus, for all the talents I've been given since I was born. Thanks so I can share with everybody. Thank you, God. So, okay, now let's share. Tootsie, come here. Come here, Tootsie, come on. Come here, come here, Tootsie. Come here, baby. Yeah, oh, that's right. Tootsie wants to say hi. Say hi, Tootsie. Look, she's grown. That's my baby Tootsie. Okay, so today we're gonna do some paint dye. I'm gonna do my um, tie dye first. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I'll explain it along the way. And you can do whatever you want, you know. And you can use stencils or labor. Or tr it's it's all fun. It's all fun. Never you stress at the door. We're here to tie dye and have some fun. Okay. All right. So remember about sharing. Sharing's important. Share whatever you got, man. If you got whatever you have, share. If you have two of something, give one to somebody that doesn't have anything. The food, the same way. Share your food as much as you can. You know? You'll get blessed beyond measure. All right. So, yeah, we're going to do the volcano. I'm going to paint dye it on it. It's my own rendition of my little Pele volcano, whatever. It's, it's good over here for Hawaii because it's good tourist stuff. So, oh yeah, two, two, who's here? All right, so let's get it on. Hang tight. Okay. Get your shirt. After your shirt soaked in this, yeah, sorry if it's noisy on the outside. I'm here in my shop. It's right next to the road. I'm here in the Big Island of Hawaii. All right, so um, after you get your shirt soaked in the soda ash solution, and you spin it out in the spin cycle in the washer, your shirt's ready to die, okay? So, so, um, we're gonna lay the shirt face up, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna leave myself a little canvas in the center. I remember I thought of this a long time ago, I used to have airbrush artists do the work in the middle. I never thought about painting the dye on the inside until one day I was trying to fix something, and I thought, I wonder if this will work. Yeah, you can fix your you can fix your mistakes. <laughs> this isn't that what life's about though. We do fix our mistakes. Hopefully, unless you want to keep repeating them over and over. Okay, until you fix it, right? Anyway, so we're gonna get the shirt, we're gonna fold it in half, face up, armpit to armpit. Okay. In the bottom corner and the top corner uh the shoulder blade. So yeah, you can see it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the highlight marker. Wherever it disappeared to. Oh, there it is. Okay, I need I, I'm gonna use a baggie, rubber bands, and my highlight marker. Okay. So I'm gonna draw like a half a circle. See that? Oh, maybe you can. Now you can. It's kind of like a half a circle, but how do you really determine it's a half a circle? You put your finger in the center here. And you kind of just like push this shirt like this, and it'll go to its 
center spot, right? So watch. Okay. Now, to make it a real center, a circle, I'm going to get my fingers and fold this in half like this. I have three fingers for strength. Okay. And slide it underneath. You know, this part's going to be flat on the surface. Slide it underneath. And then it's going to go just like that. It's, it's going to be a circle. Okay. So now I'm going to do this again. Like that. And then this part over here, you can call it scrunch, crunch, squish, whatever. Right. Okay. I'm going to squish this together. And, um. Just like that, no worries. And then we get my rubber band, three fingers. We got high bridge, low bridge. High bridge, low bridge. Slide this, put this part flat on the surface right here like that. Okay. Three fingers, high bridge. Okay. Some of y'all might have small hands, so, you know, the high bridge, low bridge thing really helps out. Okay, now, to keep this part from getting stained, I put the baggie over the top of this. Same thing I did with the rubber band. I'm going to slide this underneath tonight. See that? Now I got it over there, the rubber band part. And I get the rubber band now, pull it in half like, give it strength. And slide this underneath the baggie too. Right to that rubber band part right there, to the other one underneath. And I just give one more of her. Posterity, you know, make sure. Okay, see that? Now we're going to take it to the die rack, so hang tight. Oh, yeah, you're supposed to wear gloves, but I ain't, I ain't got any. Take it easy on me, okay? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get yellow first. Yellow. I'm gonna squirt it all over this just like this. This is pretty simple, this part. Okay? Just squirt it all over there just like that. And then we're gonna get the red. Right, see that? Just like that. Pretty simple. It's easy peasy. Okay, let's see now. Let's get the black. See, I show you how to make black in other videos, so you gotta check it out. Yeah. All right. So here we go. I'm just gonna squeeze, just like a little no, no real pattern or rhyme. I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing. Okay. So we have that part right here. And noise in the background is the traffic. A lot of people drive by the shop. Sometimes they come in, they go, you know, I've driven by here a thousand times. The first we've been going by for years. It's the first time now to come in. Needs you have a positive uh, reaction. All right, so now. And let that sit and just do its thing, you know. And um, I'll come back like in an hour, a couple hours or whatever. Maybe just let it sit overnight if you want. But you got to let it sit for a couple hours. And you come back at it. But to you, it'll be like a couple seconds. So hang tight. And we'll come back at this and I'll show you what we're going to do. I'm going to unfold it and lay it on the table and get ready to die, uh, to paint the, the volcano on it. So hang on. All right, here we go. Here's the shirt now after it's been set and opened up. So, um, you know, it's sideways, but you'll get the idea. Here's what I'm drawing. I'm going to draw the volcano. This is one of my drawings here. See the lady and the hair smoke the, the mountain is like the hula dress the body and the smoke is and the hair is like the fire shooting up you'll see all right so let's just check it out so i get the highlight marker i'm drawing these quite a bit this is like already part of me you know so i uh you know i have the center of the shirt right here so i 
you could draw whatever you want, you know. And I, I just put my Hawaii right here. Hawaii is a fun word. Hawaii is a fun word, you know. It, uh, it, uh, it's symmetrical. It's like you know the A, I, I, and the H are all like you can reverse it and do it in a mirror. It looks similar, you know. All right. So now that we have the cone right here. It's like the hula dress. Okay, and then we have the body shooting up, right? And the smoke would be like the arms and the breast. So I just make like a little poopy cloud, you know? And then I detail it when I put the, uh, the paint on. But I'm just getting an outline of it right now. And then the little head, the woman's head, just do a little outline dot like that. And then she's kind of like looking up so her, her eyes... And her mouth, nose, are all like that. So then the hair. This is all just a outline, right? And then I just kind of make the flames like this. So this is my own rendition of the Hawaii volcano. It's like representing like Pele, the volcano. You have like smoke. This is like your body's like. But no. So there's the outline of that. I'm gonna use four colors basically. I'm gonna use black, which I show you how to mix on previous videos, right? Black, right? And I'm gonna use yellow, red, and orange. Okay. So let's check it out. Okay, my stool. Here we go. So, okay. So I'm gonna get right now. I'm gonna do the the cone first. All right, the big powerful mountain, <laughs> or should I whisper like Bob Ross, the big powerful mountain? <laughs> so here we're gonna do the outline of the the H. Okay, and then W. This is the outlines. I'm gonna paint all this with dark black, you know. Just to, the poops got to leave some room for the. It looks like a letter, you know. Nothing's tie dye. There's a lot of mistakes, but mistakes are your friend, okay? So don't look at it as a mistake. Just look at it as like a unique design, you know? And if you can remember how to do it and people like it, whatever, you can remember how to do it, you can do it again, you know? So remember your mistakes. They're not, not actually your mistakes, they're your next best design. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to do the eyes. See, the vowels in Hawaii are all pronounced like European, like Spanish or Latin. A, A, E, O, U. So the, the A is A, Ha, which is breath, spirit. And then the uh, A, I is I sound. So it's Ha, Y. And actually the W is a V sound. A V like in Victor. Hawaii. So then the I is E. So that's how it's pronounced, you know. But AI is I. Okay. Um, hey, I'm pretty illiterate, so don't, you know, think I'm some, you know, genius or something. Okay, so here we go. We have the body now. Like the flume of fire bursting out of the cone, you know. And now we're going to do the nice breast. <laughs> hey, man, I haven't seen a beautiful puff of smoke without puppy clouds you know okay so we're making puppy clouds okay see that and what's neat about art when you do it by hand the same it's not going to look exactly the same on the other side you can try but you know you just kind of want to make it the same shape or same size, 
right? So it has the same kind of, uh, you know, effect. Where one cloud's not more bigger than the other, it's like they look the same. Like they're like arms. They're like your arms, right? Exploding outwards, right? And then we'll do the little head here. And then that mouth. It looks like she's frowning, but really she's um, looking up. So it has that effect of looking up. Okay, and then this will just kind of like, you know, it's not her hair. Because her hair is actually the fire. This is kind of like going to be shadow effect of her hair. Okay? But we're doing the black outline. It's easy to do light over. And once you do this, right? So then... I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay? So I'm making little, like, darts of, like... It's going to be like fire, shadow fire, you know? Like... You'll see, but just do this. Or This is my volcano, you know? You can do whatever you want. I'm just showing you what I'm doing on this. You know, this is ready for... Uh, right here, now I'm going to get paint the cone. So the... The, the dye wants to spread. See, watch. Uh, it's starting to spread a little bit, and it spreads right there. So I have to be careful on how much I bring in to the area because it'll swallow up your letters. It'll, it'll. So I'm doing this around the small spots, like in between the letters with the brush, little brush. Okay. Like this. And then I'm going to use the big brush. To get the bigger spots. Okay. That's looking good so far. Alright, you see that? Okay. Yeah, it's a uh, holy week this week, you know? You know what that means? Uh, it was the week when Jesus got executed on the cross. Okay. Right now, I guess Sunday was the Palm Sunday thing where he showed and, and entered in and the people all gave him praise and glorified him as the king and worshipped him as the Lord. And realize that he's the Messiah to come. And then after Jesus got done, they were throwing all the palm branches in their clothes in front as he was walking on a donkey or riding on a donkey. And it's pretty uh, historical moment there. But that was all predicted when Daniel, the prophet, who was over in uh, Babylon during the time of captivity, or Persia was visited by an angel and told them the precise date that was to take place. So that's why those wise dudes came with the three gifts. There was actually more than three guys there. There was a whole entourage because they had really expensive gifts. They just couldn't cruise through the desert with like, you know, a couple of dudes. So they had entourage, right? But when those guys, the reason why those guys came from all the way from the east, from Persia, is when Daniel was in captivity during the Persia a captivity because it was Babylon and Persia and then Greece and then Rome. It's all history. Anyways, um, but Daniel was visited during that period of time. And then when he was in charge of all these dudes, they were called Magi. So that's why they came because Daniel was told. And he also was told the time of the entrance of being the king, like the precise time, the very day Jesus came walking in on that donkey or riding on that donkey, it was predicted 600 years before that. The very day. Mind blower. Okay? So, now this would be that holy week where it's getting ready for the Last Supper, you know? Uh, during Passover. And then they're going to execute him after Passover and right before the Sabbath, they got to take him out to the, to the cross. Anyways, 
it's history man i love history if we don't know history it'll repeat itself like it's doing right now because people are getting dumbed down serious man okay i'll get the big brush now right go like this they, they act like we came from monkeys and we we got smarter no i think we were like we were smarter and then we're turning into monkeys <laughs> Because we're dumbing down, man. And you know, without the computer, people would be pretty much stupid right now. They don't remember nothing. They just look up Google or whatever to find out whatever they think is the truth. All right, check that out, huh? Okay, now I'm going to zip through this next part really quick. So I'm going to wash off my big brush. So hang tight one second. Okay, now I'm going to get my yellow. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do a little bit more of this. Drag this volcano down the bottom here. Take it down to these lines. There, and that blends in. Okay, now I'm going to get the yellow. I'm just going to zip it over the top of these letters here. Yeah, the highlighter is going to wash out. You won't even know it's there. Okay, now the yellow is going to come right here in the torso. Nothing on the clouds there. The clouds are going to be white. Okay, and then this whole area up here on top yellow it's okay if you get it on the clouds I mean it's gonna bleed into it it's gonna look cool okay now this bar right here all yellow okay so this is a really important week for Christians you know which I am I'm trying to practice you know it's very tough it's really tough. And, you know, anything easy is not that, anything good is not that easy to do. It's always difficult to do the right thing. It really is. It's easy to do the wrong thing. It really is. So anyway, so nobody has ever resurrected from the dead except Jesus, okay? A lot of people deny that or whatever, but that's their choice, you know. But mine, I believe that. I believe what that Bible says, but... Okay, and that look cool. Now we're going to get orange. The orange now, I'm going to do some flares from the body here. Right there, and her face is going to be orange. Okay, and the bottom part right here, I just swipe it all the way across. Just like that. Pretty easy, huh? Now, the red. Little red. Then I'm going to just do little. Just like little arcs like that. He's like Houdini, the great magician. He said he's gonna cheat death and he's gonna come back from the dead. Believe me, if Houdini came back from the dead, I believe anything Houdini said, man. But he never did. Jesus did. I believe whatever Jesus said. Jesus is the only one that never lied. Everybody else has lied one time or another in their life. Nobody's been out without that. Even George Washington, they taught us in school that he never lied. That was a lie. Okay, now I'm going to get the orange. Okay, the orange here, I'm going to go like this. Oops, straighter lines, actually. Doesn't, you know, and then like this. Okay. Yo, that looks kind of cool, huh? Okay. A little bit of orange in here, in between here. Looks like fire. 
Alright. Let me show you what that looks like. Hang on. Check this out, man. It's, it's cool. Yeah, the back kind of looks like ghostly. You can put a piece of plastic or something in between the shirt, and you can do the back and a whole other thing if you want. I try to keep these moderately, fairly priced, so people don't have to like gouge too hard to like get one. Because it's a privilege to be able to do your art, and I think it's it's an honor that I can share it with the world. And I thank God every day for the talent that has been given, you know, so I can share it with everybody. So I'll be making more videos, okay? And uh, thanks, you guys, for watching. Have a great day. Aloha.